Zach Morris is trash. It's Marry Your Classmate Week at Bayside, a thing every school does. Zach's overjoyed about his academically arranged marriage to Kelly and plotting his imminent assault. Jesse declares no woman is a man's property. Zach declares Kelly his property. Zach tells everyone in the building he knows what sex is and plans to have it with his fake school wife. Jesse doesn't want to sacrifice a career for marriage. Zach will make that sacrifice so Kelly can work while he does Jack Diddley. Kelly asks what Zach values in a relationship. Mouth stuff. I've died and gone to heaven. We should all be so lucky. Belding assigns a scenario in which Kelly staggers home after a major car accident. Zach's response? Who cares? Kiss me. Belding requests, please don't whip it out in a classroom. So Zach explains Kelly's emotions to her, says shut up, then proceeds with Operation Whip It Out in a Classroom. Belding assigns kids to the couples. <laughs> He's not my son. There must have been a mix-up at the hospital. Zach Morris makes Woody Allen look like father of the year. Kelly, kindest soul, embraces her child. Zach's scorned kid is acting out, vandalizing school property over his unrequited love for Lisa. Slater steps up to be the man Zach isn't by raising his son. Slater, who is now Lisa's dad in this fully normal project, offers to help set up a date. Zach uses more class time to say he's chubbed up and then makes a move on Kelly. When his son wants attention, Zach uses physical force and violent threats. Kelly he tries protecting Screech, but Zach continues his domestic abuse junior seminar. Mom, call 911! Don't stop there. The FBI and IRS should probably take a look at him, too. Zach offers a disingenuous, I love you, that Screech sees right through. Great news! Kelly's pregnant! Zach's revolted and turns his back on his growing family. Kelly doesn't want a man who hates his own children. She walks out on Zach. Kelly, please keep walking. Zach, who just pushed Kelly away, can't crack the case why she's leaving. Slater wants to support Jesse's career and is thrilled about having children. Because I'm a good father. How refreshing. Screech arrives to take Lisa to the movies, but she's not interested. Oh well, at least Slater tried. Except Screech reveals Slater only offered the date if Screech would do the community service of accelerating Zack and Kelly's inevitable split. Slater tells Belding he only did it to keep Kelly away from Ted Blondie. But while Slater has the cognizance to reflect on what he could have done differently, Zack farts out a worthless sorry. Belding gives the gang a chance to finish their totally routine project at the diner with the magic waiter who never met a health code he couldn't make disappear. Slater comes to the mature conclusion that he and Jesse have fundamental differences that would prevent a happy union. Zack backpedals on having kids to dupe Kelly. He pretends to miss their son, then slams a lid on his fucking head. He says anything he thinks Kelly wants to hear to trap her, then once again tells the principal he's very, very horny. Let's review. Zack Morris took a class project as a blank check for his carnal fantasies, and despite repeatedly stating he only cares about his wife for sex, was wholly uninterested in what sex produces, when the child he disavowed lashed out. Poor Slater picked up the slack, then got in trouble for trying to save a mother and her child from an abusive household. And while Slater learned to be honest with yourself in a relationship, Zach learned to lie his ass off. Not a new lesson for Zach Morris. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.